chip we've got inside of an iPhone with eight gigabytes of RAM. So let's go and see how both these iPhones compare from that perspective. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background except for that one. The 15 Pro is on the right, the iPhone 14 Pro is on the left. So let's get into it. Phone calls, three, two, one. Basically the same thing, music, three, two, one. This display looks brighter to me than this one, but I don't know, they look the same over the camera, which is very weird. Mail, three, two, one. Okay, about the same thing. Also, we have the 13 Pro, 14 Pro, and 15 Pro here. Camera, three, two, one. Okay, roughly around the same thing, but again, they were on like two, completely two different panels. This one had night mode. This one also did do that shaking thing, which is very interesting. Hopping out of here, let's go into photos, three, two, one. Okay, kind of roughly around the same thing, not that big of a difference. We do have some third-party applications. I'm gonna actually try iMovie, three, two, one. I don't think I've opened this up on either one. Very weird, this one opened and then closed, which was very weird, this one kept it open. Let's try Apple Store, three, two, one. What is going on? I don't know why this one is having such a weird issues of opening up applications and closing apps. Very strange, let's try Keynote, three, two, one. What is this, a connection to the App Store? Oh, you know why, it's because this one doesn't have Wi-Fi. So very strange that we are already, like, usually the apps open, but I guess the apps don't even open if you don't have Wi-Fi on this iPhone, which is very weird, I guess we'll, I'll make a separate video of that if that's an issue. Snake vs. Box, three, two, one. This is crazy. You can't even use applications on your iPhone on a 15 Pro if you have if you don't have Wi-Fi, unable to verify app. That doesn't make any sense. I already downloaded that app through the App Store. So that is probably going to make some issues for the speed comparison. So it's where the first couple apps were able to open except for these ones. Facebook, three, two, one. Okay, so that makes more sense. Let's go and get into Thank You, three, two, one. Okay, so we had that pop-up coming up in the first place and then it stopped. So it's very strange. Now it's looking like it's fine again, but again, very strange. Some glitches going on for the 14 Pro, but the 15 Pro looked fine. Stack again, three, two, one. Okay, the 15 Pro was definitely faster there. Let's go and get into some gameplay here. Let's see if there's a big difference, which I don't think there is going to be. I'm also going to be doing tons of gaming videos on the 15 Pro, my third channel. So I'm also going to clip up these speed comparisons and post them there too. So if you want to see them in their glory, you can also check that channel out. Again, that is linked down below, but you can just type in Tiny or Cozy Alpac, whatever the channel name is. And I will probably tell you the 15 Pro is going to be the faster phone, but is it going to be that much faster? Probably not. There's also some glitches going on for the 15 Pro that I'm seeing. So keep that in mind. I do feel like as of this point, you are probably getting a faster phone from the 15 Pro, which is obvious. But the 14 Pro is still a very, very good phone. They're both very fast. So you're really not missing out on both, both like any, like I mentioned, but definitely the 15 Pro is going to be the faster one. So that kind of covers it up there, to be honest. From the